and I'll, I'll show you the picture in just one second. And um, I'm going to show you the colors we're going to use. So red, um, sorry, let me just lower the camera a little bit. We're going to be using red, yellow, blue. Those are our primary colors. And we're also using um, black and white. If you have orange, we'll also use orange. So now I'm gonna show you the uh, picture. Sorry, let me just adjust the camera. Um, just one second. Recording. Uh, so we are painting this landscape today. So I'll let you take a picture. And if you have masking tape, I suggest you use it for this painting. So if you have masking tape, go grab it really quick. You'll put a line right in the middle of the, um, of your sheet. If you don't have it, that's okay. You don't need it you will just try to draw a very straight line. Okay, so So I put my masking tape right through the center. Um, maybe it's a little bit too high. So you want the upper line of your masking tape to be right in the middle. And nice and straight. Make sure it's nice, nicely taped to your painting. So we're gonna do the sky here and the water at the bottom. We're gonna start with the sky. <coughs> and um, I'm gonna do, we're gonna do it a little bit differently this time because we're not gonna, for the sky, we're not gonna use our palette. We'll just put dots of paint directly on the canvas and then we'll blend it all together with a flat brush. The biggest one you have. So if your surface is flat on the table, this it will be easier. Um, mine is upright, so I have to use a pen or a brush. 
Um, so actually, let me just let me place the dot of color first, so you know what where you want them to be. So the first color I'm going to be using is red. And I'm just going to um, have all my colors ready. So red, yellow, and white. So I will put five red dots here really big drops. And just about three over here, one, two, three. And I'm gonna put the yellow right in the center. And I'm gonna put the white uh, at the top. And you have to do this kind of fast so the paint doesn't start to dry. And once you have your dots there, we're gonna start blending. So I'm gonna start blending top to bottom. So left to right. If you run out of paint, that's okay. You can put a few more dots. Um, the idea is that you do it very quickly. So it'll be easier for you to blend. If your paint dries, it's really hard to, to blend. It's okay to go over the masking tape a little bit. If you're not using masking tape, then with the brush, you would do a very straight line right here. A bit more yellow. If your surface is flat, if you have your paper on, a, on your table, you can just pour it di directly from the bottle. Okay.
if your brush is really dry and you want it to be a little bit more runny, you can quickly dip it into the water. Look at the reference picture. Do you think it's enough yellow? I'm going to put painting number here. Um, maybe mine, the bottom red is too high up, so I need to put more yellow over here. Um, try not to put just one color. So if you add red, you also need to add. Sorry, if you add yellow, you need to add red as well. So it blends. Okay, so that's my sky. I'm gonna clean my brushes. If you're happy with your sky, we're going to let it dry. Um, and we're going to remove our tape. Very gently so you're not ripping off the paper. Very gently and just like this. And I'm 
gonna grab the piece of paper, sorry, of tape, and I'm gonna place it directly over this straight line. So you see, I'm aligning the, the straight line of red that I have, and I align it with the bottom of my tape now. And if you're, if you have changed the position of the tape now, we are going to start doing the bottom part, water. So same idea, same technique. Um, again, make sure you do it quickly. So we're gonna do red, yellow, white, and blue, maybe a, one or two drops of blue over here. So lots of red dots over here. with some yellow. Lots of yellow right here in the middle. Lots of white. and blue at the bottom. Maybe a little bit of white with the blue. And we're gonna start top to bottom again. left to right. And so I go down a little bit and I go back up, so I keep blending it.
grab a paper towel, wipe your brush, and look at the reference picture. Do you need to add more red, more white? So I need to add more yellow over here. If you want one color, you want um, you need to put at least two so it blends. Oops. Gonna be adding more white for here. Tiny bit of red around the white. And blend again. I'm going to make this a little bit brighter. So one more layer. Of red. Okay, so that's my water. Let's um, we'll leave it dry. We will let it dry, and then <clears throat> I'm gonna wash my brushes.
Perfect. So um, we'll now um, actually we'll keep the tape right there. We're just going to add more detail into the water. So now we're going to grab our palette to here. So I'm going to put yellow. and white for now. I'll show you in just two seconds. So I have yellow and white on my palette right here. I'm gonna start with the yellow. I'm gonna grab a flat brush. Grab, always grab paint only on the tip. You don't need to fill the entire brush with paint. And we're gonna do lines to show the reflection of the, from the sun. I'm going to do the exact same thing with white. So I have white on my brush. Now wipe your brush, clean your brush, and I'm going to do the same, um, the same lines, but with a more orange, orangey color. So if you have an orange color, this is the time to use it. If you don't, you mix orange by combining yellow and red. Yellow and red gives you orange. I just placed a color here and there. I'm adding more red to the color I have on my palette. You want to do this movement kind of imitating the, the waves and the movement of the water.
And now I will clean my brush again. And I will repeat the process as I go down, but I will just try to use the colors that I see already on my painting. So now I see blue here, so I use blue and white. Do I combine blue and white? You can go back to the other colors you mixed earlier. So I'm going back to orange over here. I'm going back to pure white for this little reflection over here. And pure yellow as well. Don't forget to clean your brush if you think that you're changing color.
So if you're all done with the water, now let's clean our brush. We're gonna grab a small brush to paint the sun. So I'm gonna use maybe this round brush. And we're gonna use yellow and white. So I want a little bit of yellow and lots of white to make a very clear color. Um, make sure your sky is already dry. And start with a small circle. So you can just start to get bigger and bigger. Sorry. And um, it doesn't really matter how big you make it, as long as it's nice and round. And now I'm going to use that color I mixed to add just a few more highlights over here. Okay, I'm gonna clean my brush now.
And once you're done with the sun, you're, you'll let it dry. The next part, we're going to do the black detail. So we're gonna grab just pure black. I'm gonna pour it into my palette. So I have just black and a big um, flat brush. So we're gonna start with the tree. At the top, I grab black, uh, black paint on the tip of my brush. Not too much. And I kind of start placing points where I want my tree to be. Um, remember, it doesn't have to be exact, but So that's the outline of my tree. Now I'm just going to connect the dots. Okay, I'm gonna grab a small brush to to a bit more detail. Small pointy brush.
And I'm gonna do the leaves in black. And once you're happy with your tree, we're gonna remove the tape. And now I'm going to draw this, like the two smaller rocks at the back. So there's one to the left. And a smaller one over here to the right.
Now I'm going to do the, um, the swing right here. So I'm just gonna indicate a few lines. So you can really put it anywhere. Um, anywhere down the tree. I'm gonna put mine so the two lines go around the sun. So there's one line coming down over here. It goes all the way down to maybe over here. And you can grab a ruler or another brush to guide your straight lines for the swing. So make sure that you um, you do this little line right here, the bottom.
Um, the original picture has a big rock right here. You can do it if you want, but I think for mine, I like it better without, just because I don't have too much space here. So just a small, big, um, or a small black area wouldn't really look like my, like the rock, but you are welcome to do it if you want. Um, so we're gonna let our black dry. I'm gonna wash my brush and we'll do a few highlights. And for our last step, grab a small brush. It can be either round or flat. We're just gonna do a few highlights. Um, I'm gonna grab just white and even that yellow white we did the sun with. That color as well works. And remember, grab the, the paint only on the tip of your brush. And I'm gonna do a few highlights on the rock. Maybe on the swing over here. And maybe just a few at the bottom of the tree.
Oops, sorry. I'm going to clean my brush. I'm going to grab black paint and sign at the bottom, and then we are done. Um, you can sign with paint, or if it's easier for you with a pen, uh, paint or a pen, whatever works for you. Okay, so that is our painting. Uh, <clears throat> let me bring the camera up further out so you can see. Don't forget to wash all your brushes right away. 